Hello, everybody. If you're from the DMV area, District, Maryland, Virginia, that's the District of Columbia, then you are very familiar with one of our legendary radio personalities. His name was David Haynes, and he used to always say, what is it, you all? It's Friday! So, can't nobody say it like he used to. But uh, nevertheless, it is Friday, and I'm so glad we made it to the end of the week. And we've got the weekend to get through. So let's go ahead and get started on the Dollar Tree items that I picked up um, yesterday from two different Dollar Trees. I went to the one in Riverdale, I went to the one in Laurel. So let me show you what I got. Let me start with the food items. Repurchase Sweet and Smoky Sloppy Joe by McCormick. I'm going to do a review on this probably tomorrow. But since I repurchased it, let me tell you. I love this. Now, I should have known because of the smokiness I was going to like it. But you can't say that you're going to like everything that has a smoke flavor. And because I love the old school man with Sloppy Joe. But who would have known smoke flavor would have put Sloppy Joe's over the top? So that's my personal opinion. I picked up some candy. We've talked about sweets before. I know we all got to stay away from the sugar. <laughs> But I did buy some of these malt teasers. So malt teasers or malt teasers. I'm not sure how you would say it. But this is a Mars Co Corporation candy. They're just chocolate covered malt balls. And I couldn't help but get these and think about how good they would taste in a blender with some vanilla ice cream. I'm a malt type of girl. I love vanilla malt milkshakes, chocolate malt milkshakes. I love malt flavor. Okay. Redbird is coming out with every type of flavor of a mint besides the regular peppermint. Um, Dollar Tree has these Redbird birthday cake mints. I went ahead and opened them up. I tasted one. Uh, my two oldest boys tasted one. They smell. As soon as I crack this open, you can smell the birthday cake flavor. And they taste like it. And they don't taste bad. I really thought that, you know, come on, like... Just making mints taste another flavor. I thought it was going to be bad, but they aren't bad at all. So I picked up these cookie swap taffies, and I thought maybe I would do a little taste test with the boys just to see if they could guess which one is the sugar cookie with vanilla cream, which one is the gingerbread with vanilla cream, and which one is the chocolate chip cookie. Maybe I'll even have them do that for me, and I'll do, I'll do the taste test or try to figure out which one is which. Uh, seasonings. I saw this Supreme Tradition Steakhouse Seasoning. It is a 7 ounce container. I'm getting ready to run out of my McCormick. Um, oh gosh, what is it? I think it's a McCormick like steakhouse. It's Montreal Steak Seasoning. That's what it is. I'm getting ready to run out of that. So I hope this is comparable or tastes just as good. I've never tried it before. But this is a big container. This is not just the regular small uh, seasoning. Picked up some golden spicy brown mustard. It's just a staple in my house. We love deli mustard. And then this food item, the chicken helper. Didn't even know that hamburger helper made a chicken helper. And this is the creamy parmesan alfredo. This is a nine ounce box. And let's check the date. The date on it is January 16th, 2018. Better if used by then. Okay. Um, the next item is the Hamburger Helper Ultimate, and this is the Three Cheese Marinara. I definitely thought the boys would enjoy this. And this is a Better If Used by October 24th, 2017. So that has a little bit less of a shelf date than the other. Um, I think that is, oh no, that's not all my food items. Let me pull up this bag. All right, so I found in the Dollar Tree these Progresso Hardy Classics. This says classic and bold tomato soup with meatballs and penne. This is a 14 ounce bag. And so these come in this type of container for you just to rip off and probably just heat up. So let me go through the ones I have quickly. Potato with ham and bacon soup. This is broccoli cheese soup. And the last one I picked up like this is the white chicken chili with beans. They had a pork um, with beans and like chili. Um, I probably wouldn't have got that one anyway, but that was another flavor. If you watch my uh, Come With Me live video I did yesterday, I mentioned that 
And these also I mentioned in there too, but I'm just going to show you in case you didn't catch that. This is the lentil and um, dewy sausage progresso. This was, I've hauled the progresso soups before, but this is a new flavor to the Dollar Tree for me. I haven't seen that one in there before. As well as this rich and hearty creamy Alfredo with penne and chicken. And this green split pea flavored with bacon. Mmm, my mom used to make split pea soup with ham. Oh, so good. All right, so that is the end of all my food. So let's move on to some other items. I went ahead and picked up this Main Street Totes. And, you know, if you have ever bought before the Main Street Totes reusable bags, you know these are really good tote bags. This print is on the side as well. The bottom is green. But this is just a tote bag. Uh-oh, about to drop it. But these are really good tote bags, y'all. Very strong. And as I've always said with, you know, when I do these hauls, I love tote bags to give and put gifts in instead of the birthday bags. Because then you can use the bag as well. I picked up a five-pack of the Pure Silk. These are just twin blades. But I needed razors. So, I love this little tassel. I'm, I forgot to show you all this yesterday in the Dollar Tree. But this is a light-up tassel. Light up tassel keychain. So I got one for probably myself, but you see it lights up. Dish drying mat. And I loved it in this little print. They're doing this print for the summer. You know, it's all on the platters and bowls and stuff you can buy. But this is a drying mat. And it says new improved backing. So they show you that. And, um, and I've, I've purchased not this drawing mat before, but another one from like the grocery store. And they usually do have this backing on it. So I don't know if that helps improve how it dries at all. But it feels really soft. feels really nice. I needed a bigger pill organizer. The one I have now doesn't seem to get everything in there. Um, I'm taking now CLQ10, which is over the counter, but it's a little bit thicker of a pill. So I'm hoping this works out better. Pick that up. It's a seven-day pill organizer. Someone asked me when I did the uh, the pain relief patch, could I try the analgesic, analgesic gel? And I'm hoping this is what they were speaking about, the Arctic Ice Pain Relieving Gel. So I do want to try this. I'm going to try this on my hand because I have arthritis in my right hand. All right, so I picked up these shades yesterday. I just thought, you know, I'm attracted to purple, and I love that print. So I picked these up for a dollar. My days of paying a lot of money for shades are well gone. I had a girlfriend that lost some shades when I could afford them back in the day. Some three hundred and something dollar shades. I bought some Chanel. She lost them, and well, she left them in a Wendy's bathroom. I should say. I let her borrow them, and I will never ever pay that much for sunglasses again. You know, picked up these reading glasses and this purple. They're just plain, but you know me, love my purple. So these little sets are, this was a Mickey Racers Roadhouse, is that what that show is called? Excuse me, Mickey Roadster Racers. And then this is just Avengers. But these are little plastic packs that come with a, an eraser, a pen, um, excuse me, a pencil, and a sharpener. So I picked these up because I do have tote bags that have the the same you know an avengers tote bag and this mickey roaster tote bag and i just thought if i'm gonna give them for gifts i can just throw these little things in there i thought they were cute for that um and it says four piece stationary set pack oh there's a ruler in there as well i didn't even see that there's a ruler inside of there so it is four pieces saw these adult coloring books and just had to get them i gave away a lot of adult coloring books for teacher appreciation to the art teacher i left myself with one and i really wanted to get this tattoo one that i saw on there yesterday this is by the Benden company and this is an adult coloring book relax and rewind tattoos just thought it would have some very beautiful pictures look at that they do mm. all right and then I picked up these adult coloring books, M Mandala's adult coloring book. It says Unwind, Unplug, and Relax. And this is by a company called Carmen Creations. I picked up four of them. They all have like these different colors on the side. But I made sure I opened up each book just to look and make sure that they were different prints in each one. So... I was kind of happy to find these yesterday. And I was thinking about these. I was like, I hope these, you know, we'll see how well these work. 
but these are the April bath and shower bath soap pouches so simply and I'll show you this one because I'm going to use this one I hope I didn't tear it already okay but you open it up and they have this in here for right now but you're, you're supposed to be able to just put your soap here on the inside close it back up and wash your body with it so I thought that was a cute idea it actually is closed here at the bottom so the soap won't fall out you won't drop your soap at all but you can wash your body with it so I did buy one for the boys to try so we'll see not for all of them to try the same one but I'll figure out who it's gonna go to I picked up a book yesterday by Carl Weber it says torn between two lovers so the original price of that at bargain books was five dollars and one cents so and Carl Weber I know of him to be a New York Times best-selling author so Let's see if I got a picture in here of him yep there it is picture of Carl Weber and some of his other books okay I was so happy this was a wish list find for me I found it so I picked one up in blue picked one up in purple but this dispenser, you know, you can actually put like fingernail polish in here and just put your little cotton ball on it. Or as I saw someone haul it months ago and said, if you make your own facial toner. So I was just really happy to pick this up. This was like a wish list item for myself. Yesterday I saw in uh, the Dollar Tree this Lumi keychain with LED light. And it does work. And I just think this is so good for, sorry you all, I think this is so good for um, you trying to, at night, you know, if whoever's in the house didn't leave the night light or the light outside of the house on, when you're trying to get in, you can actually look to see where the slot is for you to put your key. And just if you need it at night to find anything. So, I raved yesterday on my live about these two candles. The Free Spirit. This ombre effect is so beautiful. And then, hello, gorgeous. Hopefully you can see that. So these candles are so pretty. And I already have an update on one for you. The hello, gorgeous. Because I picked up two of each. Because, I mean, what's the deal with when you smell the candle? It smells so good. Like, this has somewhat of a, I think, a strong scent. Kind of like how when we smell the coffee candles. So when you smell it, you're like, okay, yeah, this is gonna, it's gonna have a throw. Mm mm. There was no throw to this candle. I already burned. Hello, gorgeous. But at least it looks so pretty. So, sorry guys. I haven't burned these two yet. I found these in the Dollar Tree, and these are, are by the Old Williamsburg Candle Corporation. This is the Black Cherry Merlot, and this is the Pink Moscata. And these come with like the cork tops. So this black cherry Merlot, even my son was like, oh, mommy, that smells so good. This black cherry Merlot, you want to make sure you want to take a spoon and eat the candle wax. It just smells so good. So I, we got one more, you know, candle to try. We're going to keep our fingers crossed on this black cherry Merlot because outside of, I know people say they like the mason jar candles. The mason jar candles don't really do much for me. I guess because when you think about the coffee candles and how strong that throw is, the mason jar candles to me don't kind of reach up to that. But maybe it's hit or miss with the mason jar candles. Because I really have a lot of subscribers who comment and say that they their berry sangria smell good. Their strawberries and cream smell good. Um, my berry sangria didn't burn well, but my strawberries and cream did. I smelled that when I came in. So, you know, um, we'll, we'll just keep our fingers crossed and see. The last thing, I picked up some of these LED life lights, 60 watt. Uh, come two in a box. And I'm not so sure who this company is. It just says Globe LED for Life. Globe is the company name. And last thing is this wrinkle releaser. I want to try this on, in particular on the boys' clothes. Um, and this is a 33 fluid ounce where you should spray the clothes, throw them in a the dryer, spray them, hang them up overnight. Um, hopefully the wrinkles will get out. So that is my Dollar Tree haul for you all. I thank you so much for taking the time this Friday to watch this video because it's Friday. I know you have a lot of things on your 
list or whatever that you could be doing to get done. So thank you for taking these 14 to 15 minutes to watch this. And I hope that everyone has a great weekend on purpose. And I'll be seeing you, if not tomorrow, you know, definitely with the start of the week. Because I got to get my reviews done soon. So everybody take care. Have a great weekend on purpose. Bye.